his own family, they were jealous, or your own family were jealous that this person sees you as someone with good qualities, someone that they admire and treat like richness, like royalty. How this person would look at you, compliment you, care for you, spend on you, treat you with quality energy. There were people that were jealous even in their own family. Alright, so you may be dealing with a loss in your love life. You may have been wondering what caused this disturbance and someone is feeling a loss without you. Alright, someone is missing you. Someone cheated. Right? There could be a pregnancy. And this person lied to you. Someone went back to their person. Like they went back to their ex because their ex was telling them holy past stories. Or they cheated with your own family members. Because this person was just listening to other people. And not trusting the process. I also see, I hear follow back. Are you? See like someone is trying to enter your life. But you could still be stuck on the past energies. And this new person that is moving into your life, they really want to make you happy. And there's a water sign, a cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, or a family member that is doing um, hexes on your love life. Because they want you stuck. King of Swords. The person that did you wrong is watching you. They're really focused upon you. And they really want to come in and speak with you. But you're blocking them. There's this new person wanting to come in. Giving you so much attention. Star card. It's people, No matter what, people still see you as high value, highly valuable. High quality, naturally beautiful. There's someone that is feeling like you're a free spirit. And they cannot pin you down or tame you. They cannot control you. But they were trying to monitor you. Someone also wants to like start a family with you or just have a baby with you. Or well, a world card immediately this person is watching your social media platforms someone wants to make you their wife or their inheritance someone also wanted to gaslight you scapegoat you put blame on you for you to like take take the judgment the sin and the fall this could be a pisces the hangman this person is watching hanging around watching you still monitoring you this person is jealous about your money or, or your good life your good energies so they are trying to keep themselves stuck on you. But this person, they are being blocked from your life. And they don't like that you speak up or you speak the truth or you protect yourself or you block them or you expose them. You are, uh, you are an earth angel and someone don't like that. You are always chosen, risen and saved and protected and right. So this spirit that is trying to get into your life is being exposed. They were trying to really meddle into your love energies for you to stay stuck, for people to believe lies about you. They were trying to project negative energies onto you, page of swords. Just because they wanted to like send a negative light to your, your way so that they could take your good energies that's coming for you. Someone wanted to get you out of the way so that they could reap your rewards. Someone also wanted to get rid of a, a belly, like pregnancy, devil card. Someone blamed you for their loss, their incompetence, even if this is a family member. If their relationship is not working out, they blame you for it. This projects a lot of negative energies, evil energies toward you. Because they don't know who else to take their feelings out on. Sun card. That is the truth. You're going to be protected from these people. They will no longer be able to project their fear, insecurities, lack, poverty, mindset onto you. Because you are glorious. A lot of them took out like they were jealous of you over your father. Over a father figure loving you, caring for you. Over a man loving you, caring for you or whatever gender it is. Some of them were jealous that you got money. You got a man giving you a lot of money or people giving you good quality energies and money. Someone was upset or jealous about that. But they could not do anything about it because they could not yet take your place. So they had to stand and watch you win. 
we have the Empress exactly. So you are the Empress. Someone wanted to, to say that you are doing magic on them. Someone wanted to point, look, tell people, look, look at what she's doing. She's uh, she's doing witchy things. So someone wanted to defame you, especially to your person, like an ex that you were with. Someone wanted to talk again, or even someone wanted to talk against you to your own family members. All right. Like, for example, they would see me, look, the magician card flipped over. Someone was lying to, uh, let's say a wealthy man was interested in, your, in you or someone good for you or something like that. Someone was trying to tell your person that you are doing magic and you're not, or you're not good for them. Like, they would, let's say they see me pull out this pendant here. They would try to point to that person. Look, 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 look. You see, she pulled out a pendant. She's, she's into bad things. You know, she's into dark things. So every, it's like everything that you do, someone is trying to point out it to someone that they see is interested in you. That's like, that's, it's negative and you're doing something wrong. This started too in your youth where your own sister or siblings or your own mother had decided to make you look like the bad one lied on you, sell you out, betray you. And I think you probably never knew this. Let's say you all had a, some group of friends. They came down from overseas. And let's say one of them was interested in you. Behind your back, maybe because you're quiet, you're not very social. Behind your back, your sister would go tell this person something negative that you said or something like that, something like that. And so this person's energy changed from you. They start showing you bad energy. They, and they left and went back overseas or whatever with the negative malicious feelings that they had toward you all because of someone in your family did that and no you, it was never ever resolved so you have those kinds of energies around you look karmic energies people were always fighting against you right competing with you behind your back and you never knew because they always saw you as the queen of pentacles they were jealous because they always saw you as the one that's going to get chosen. They, anytime there's a competition, they think you're going to win. So they think it is unfair. So they just feel jealous. They feel like they have to try to work against you because you're just naturally beautiful. You're naturally royal. You're naturally redeemed. You're liberated. You're just going to get the attention. So they think you're, you have some type of a privilege. That's why they were jealous over you, right? And then they also gaslit you because when you pull your energy back to protect yourself from them, they said you don't want to socialize, you don't want to speak to them. So they treat they they put keep kept you between a rock and a hard place in your youth growing up. You had a ten of swords. Ten of swords, this is. Okay. Alright, so these people are still trying to interfere in your love life right now. They're so jealous. There's like whatever you do, maybe you're very fertile, you're rich, you're naturally beautiful, you're natural here, your land, your 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 womb, your fertile spaces, your virile spaces. You may look very healthy, strong, vigorous, prosperous, very attractive, independent, self sufficient, free spirit. And there's still people around you that's jealous about that and still wanting to like talk about negativity. Death card. You're like an, 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 an Egyptian goddess, like a newbies. You're a goddess for true, okay? That's why you're very psychic and clear sentient. And that's why you had nemesis. Now that you know this truth, it's time for you to rise up like the phoenix. Because they've been trying to keep you shallow or break you down for a long time. With this card here. Alright, this is the death card. Alright, like I said, some of them wish that even your... <laughs> I can't even say it. Like if you have, if you are expecting, they were trying to like wish bad upon that. But most I is most I is standing in between that energy. They will never be able to send that negative energy toward any bearings that you're supposed to have. Okay, because you're so protected now. Six of diamonds. So you're someone is watching you being like spoken to, complimented, asked out on dates. There's someone watching that. And this person is feeling broken down watching you get risen up or get highlighted and complimented. Because this person, they always try to keep you 
groom you, handle you, or compete with you, compare to you. I think that you're, that's gonna that's gonna be no more, right? You're gonna not do that anymore. You're gonna like say no, cut people off. You're not accepting any exes in your life. Some of your family members were thinking of coming around to talk to you so that you can go back to talking to your exes. So, it just feel like a lot of them were working against you. Ten of diamonds, yes. And this is a good card. Because it's telling me like I, it's a confirmation that your dreams are coming true. And that you're right about the, these messages are correct about your family members. And certain situations that you were dealing with. Certain things that you were suspicious of. Certain people that you did not trust. How they felt about you. How they treated you. Why they did certain things to you. The Ten of Diamonds is saying this is your justice. This is also what they don't like. That you're still glorious. You're still breathtaking. You're still marvelous. You still capture people's attention. You are still love at first sight. It don't matter how many times they separate you. Or whatever they did to you. You still you still are people. Like they still see people take look at you twice. Like you're still beautiful. Alright. You still get money you're still looking blessed and even if you look even if you're broken down even if you're not productive even if you're not making any money even if you're not working you still look happy fulfilled you still look like blessings even if they're casting spells you still look like money is coming into your life spirits are working out things in your favor yeah the wheel of fortune you still look like good things are happening for you right and someone is seeing that yeah the queen that's the last card. That's what I said. They always saw you as the queen of pentacles. You are still rich, wealthy, liberated, healthy, loving, prosperous, kind, overflowing with love, getting attention, fertile, virile, redeemed. But it, it is time for your liberation after all these people try to do to you with the death card. It's now that you're waking up to a lot of truth. Okay. Now you know your place. These people, they cannot come and smile in your face the same way. They cannot try to trigger you, program you, groom you, uh, manipulate you the same way. And they know it, so they're trying to keep their distance from you, right? Because they, they, they know what's about to happen. So, wow, a lot of money coming into your life today, beautiful soul. Um, good, good favors, compliments, good looks, tens of millions of dollars, foundational stability, New love, dream, love energies. All of this was, is for you that someone else wanted to be manifesting for themselves. Like they wanted your house, they wanted your man, they wanted your lifestyle. But they were acting as if they did not. They acted like they weren't jealous. Okay, they weren't competing with you. Alright, so now that you know the truth, there's a great transformation that is coming. And you are being set free victoriously. I'll catch you in the next one, beautiful soul. All is well and all is within you. Thanks for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. Take a deep breath with me here. <sighs> to close. And I'll see you in the next one. Much love.